This is actually from the Alpha Tech Company. This is a clock. Now, what's so special about a digital clock? Well, this one works with your phone and it has a spy camera right in the middle of it. So maybe you've got a few relatives coming over this year. Maybe you're not 100% trusting of them, or maybe you just wanna have a little bit more security in your house, but you don't want it to be super obvious. This is a really great option. So you can see it's a pretty straightforward clock, which is nice, always nice to have. It's attractive, it looks good, clean numbers. It does have a tilt adjustable stand. You can plug it in, it's got adjustable brightness and USB type C. There is no sound recording available in it. It does come with a cord, a cleaner for the lens there, and a power adapter. So here we go. Um, there's also the base here. Now, a couple things. Uh, they did, I, it looks like the base is a little bit more adjustable, a little more techy. Uh, I guess it's not too bad here, but I almost would like a fixed stand or something that didn't look like they put so much money into it. I like the idea that this is kind of a, you know, an informal clock that you would have. So there's that. Inside of here, we have the actual clock unit. It does have a five year extended warranty that you can get for it. So that's pretty cool. So overall, there is the clock. Now, you might be going, well, where's the camera? Now, if you look super carefully, I'm gonna tilt it until the light hits it. Uh, I can't really do it. The camera is right there. I can see the lens in person, just like a different shade of gray, but if you're looking on the stream super carefully, you may not even be able to see it. It is just that so subtle. In the manual, if you read it, it does talk about that. They didn't wanna put IR emitting LEDs for night vision because that's how you can actually use those spy camera detectors to detect this. This is only gonna be receiving information. So that's one aspect of it. Um, second thing I would say is taking the back off is a little bit hard. I've done that a couple times on the other one. It's getting better, but you really have to get in here. And I think that's a good thing. So people may not suspect that this is a smart camera, but the way you do it, you take the back off like this and that gets you to the smarts. So now you've got a reset button, an on off switch, your trans flash or micro SD uh, holder there, and you have your type C. It doesn't come with a memory card, but these things are a dime a dozen. So hopefully you guys can grab one and we're going to go ahead and plug this thing in and fire it up and you're going to get to see what's involved in setting it up. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in like that. And instantly you've got a clock with zeros. Now, if you look real carefully, there's a red light there. I'm going to go through the steps on how to set this up. If you push and hold that, that red light is gonna turn into a purple light and it's gonna blink. It takes about five seconds. So my office security camera, I can give you a demo of this right now and I can show you what it actually looks like because I've already set the other one up here in the corner. So you can see my hand waving. You can see the other not so pretty side of my office here. I'm gonna flip it sideways so you can see everything going on. You can see the delay on it. If I put my hand out, it's like half a second or less. Again, no audio capability. I can make a recording of it. I can zoom in to specific. So I have a thing called a multi-view. If you guys didn't know, that's how I see all my different things. Resolution and picture quality. Let's see what we can do about that. So I've got SD mode and I've got HD mode. So it's a little bit better. These are all the functions. And I actually kind of like the way that they've done the menu. The basic information is there. The display settings are there. Alarm settings are here. So if I turn the alarm on, what's gonna happen is if I move, and it may even do this, I don't know how quickly it's gonna do it. If I'm outside of the app, and if I move, it'll actually throw an alert through the top. I think I actually had one right here, motion detection now. So there's the motion detection events within the Tuya Smart app. So it's showing that that's what's going on. There are two ways to set this camera up. So you can see that little blue one here. I'm gonna hold the reset button down and wait till it turns purple. There we go. So it's going between red and blue, which kind of gives you this purple look. So I've done that part. I'm gonna to go to add device here. Now, this is very common. There's a ton of different products, but we're gonna go here to where it says smart camera 2.45 gigahertz, because this one also handles the five gigahertz range. So how am I gonna train the camera? Well, very easily, I'm just gonna point the QR code at it. I'm gonna back up couple times. Now the camera does not have a speaker. So if it's connecting, it won't know, but I'm going to say I heard a prompt here on the UI. Now, what does this tell you about uh, going into hotel rooms? <laughs> Maybe foreign. You just see a standard clock here. 
And what do you know, it's John's secret spy camera. So there you go. You're seeing the live immediate feed right out of this thing in my studio. You can see I've reviewed a ton of IP cameras. You know, is the quality amazing? You know, this is a, a hidden camera on a multifunction item here. I'm going to take you guys over just so you can again see. Can you see the, the camera in there? It literally is right there. And, you know, you can barely see a difference, and especially when it's on. Now, there is a button on top. You can change the brightness down. So if you want to change that, if you hold it down, the camera goes off completely. And then it just looks like a clock that's on the shelf that's off. So maybe you put this in your garage, your shop somewhere. Looks like a dead camera, not on. But guess what? That is the spy camera from Alpha Tech.